I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so what people can watch me pretend and I think it's time just to be Terry for a while. There's been a big mystery surrounding why Terrence Howard left acting. Some people say it's because he felt like Hollywood was trying to make him less manly. This allegation, which gained traction in gossip columns and online forums alike, painted a portrait of a talented artist pushed to the brink by the pressures of an industry notorious for its relentless demands and muddy power dynamics. But there's more to why Terrence Howard walked away from the industry. I'm here with the truth behind his departure. Early retirements in Hollywood. It was a day that would go down in Hollywood history. Terrence Howard, the acclaimed actor known for his captivating performances, dropped a bombshell that left everyone stunned. During an interview on the set of Empire, Howard made a shocking announcement about his future in the industry. Chesley Crist, from the show Extra, had the opportunity to interview Terrence Howard during a set visit. Little did she know that this interview would be unlike any other. As the cameras rolled, Crist asked Howard about his plans for his career once Empire finished filming. So, Terrence, what do you have in mind for your career once Empire wraps up? Oh, I'm done with acting. I'm done pretending. The room fell silent as Howard's words hung in the air. It was a shocking revelation that no one saw coming. Chesley Crist, quick on her feet, tried to make sense of his statement. Does this mean you'll be focusing on philanthropic efforts? No, not philanthropy. I'm just focusing on bringing truth to the world. Howard's response only added to the confusion. What did he mean by bringing truth to the world? It was a cryptic statement that left many people scratching their heads. News of Terrence Howard's announcement spread like wildfire, capturing the attention of the media and fans alike. Headlines blared with shock and speculation as people tried to make sense of his decision. Social media platforms buzzed with reactions, with fans expressing their disbelief and curiosity. Some praised Howard for his boldness and authenticity, applauding his desire to pursue a different path. Others expressed their disappointment, unable to fathom a future without his powerful performances. The entertainment industry was abuzz with discussions about what this meant for Howard's legacy and the impact it would have on the industry as a whole. Industry insiders weighed in on the announcement, offering their insights and speculations. Some believed that Howard's decision was a result of personal growth and a desire to explore new avenues. Others wondered if there were underlying factors at play, such as financial troubles or burnout. One thing was clear, Terrence Howard's departure from Hollywood had left a void that would be hard to fill. His talent and presence had made a lasting impact on the industry, and his absence would be deeply felt. As fans and industry insiders grappled with the news, Terrence Howard remained enigmatic, offering little explanation for his decision. It seemed that he had made up his mind and was resolute in his choice to leave acting behind. I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing. I made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we have been looking for 10,000 years. Why would I continue to walk on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? Howard's explanation only added to the intrigue surrounding his departure. It was a statement that left many people more confused than ever before. What did he mean by opening up the flower of life and finding the real wave conjugations? The mystery deepened. While Terrence Howard's decision to retire from acting left many fans and industry insiders perplexed, there may be more to the story than meets the eye. Behind the scenes, Howard faced surprising challenges, including financial troubles that may have influenced his choice to leave Hollywood. Despite being a successful actor, Howard found himself embroiled in a court battle with his wife in August 2019. The court ruled in favor of his wife, ordering Howard to pay her $1.3 million in overdue support and interest. This financial blow was a significant setback for the actor, raising questions about his financial stability. Financial experts pointed out that even famous actors can face financial difficulties. The entertainment industry is known for its unpredictable nature, and many celebrities have experienced financial hardships despite their success on screen. Terrence Howard's court battle and the resulting financial obligations may have added to the pressure he was already facing. It's important to remember that the glitz and glamour of Hollywood can often mask the challenges that actors face behind closed doors. While Terrence Howard's career appeared to be thriving, the financial burden he carried may have taken a toll on his decision-making. Hollywood is no stranger to stories of celebrities who have faced financial ruin. From extravagant lifestyles to unexpected legal battles, the industry can be a double-edged sword. Terrence Howard's financial troubles serve as a reminder that success in Hollywood does not always guarantee financial security. With ongoing financial obligations and the need to support his family, 
it's understandable that Terrence Howard may have felt the weight of these responsibilities. The decision to voluntarily walk away from his Hollywood paychecks, despite his ongoing financial obligations, was surprising to many. Some industry insiders speculated that Howard's retirement may have been a strategic move to focus on rebuilding his financial stability. By stepping away from acting, he could potentially explore other avenues to generate income and regain control of his financial situation. The implications of Howard's retirement go beyond his own career. His departure from Hollywood raises questions about the nature of art and the role of actors in society. Will other actors follow in his footsteps, seeking a deeper purpose beyond fame and fortune? Terrence Howard's decision challenges the notion that success in Hollywood is the ultimate goal. It invites us to question the meaning and impact of our own pursuits, urging us to seek truth and authenticity in our lives. As we navigate the complexities of Terrence Howard's decision to leave Hollywood, it becomes clear that his retirement was not a rash or impulsive choice. It was a carefully considered decision, influenced by a combination of factors, including financial challenges and the desire for a fresh start. But Terrence Howard is not the only Hollywood actor to retire early. In fact, there are several other notable actors who have made the surprising decision to step away from the industry before anyone expected. One such actor is Cameron Diaz. After a successful career in films like There's Something About Mary and Charlie's Angels, Diaz announced her retirement from acting in 2014. She explained that she wanted to take back control of her life and focus on other things. Gwyneth Paltrow is another actor who decided to retire early. While she is still involved in various entrepreneurial efforts, Paltrow has no plans to accept an acting gig unless her husband writes the script. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who were once child stars, also made the decision to retire from acting. After attending NYU and launching their fashion design careers, they decided to step away from the industry in 2012. Portia de Rossi, known for her role in Arrested Development, marked her 45th birthday with the decision to stop acting and pursue something new. She wanted to challenge herself and explore different opportunities. Mara Wilson, who gained fame for her roles in Mrs. Doubtfire and Matilda, stepped away from acting as a teenager. She explained that she no longer wanted to deal with the scrutiny and pressure of Hollywood. These are just a few examples of actors who have chosen to retire early. Each one has their own reasons for making this decision. Whether it's a desire for a different path, a need for personal growth, or a longing to escape the pressures of the industry. As fans and industry insiders grapple with Terrence Howard's shocking announcement, it's clear that his departure from Hollywood has left a void that will be hard to fill. His talent and presence have made a lasting impact on the industry, and his absence will be deeply felt. While Howard's explanation for his retirement may be enigmatic and confusing, it only adds to the intrigue surrounding his departure. John Singleton wanted me to slap um the girl playing Lexus when she called me a BIT. And I was like, no, that's not in the script. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard, a name that has become synonymous with talent and versatility and discipline in the world of entertainment. From his humble beginnings as a background player in the 1992 TV movie, The Jacksons and American Dream, Howard's journey to stardom was nothing short of remarkable. Over the next three decades, Terrence Howard would prove time and time again that he had the acting chops to become one of the most respected performers of his generation. It was in 2005, with his eye-catching performance in the film Hustle and Flow, that Howard truly made his mark. In Hustle and Flow, Howard portrayed the complex character of DJ, a Memphis pimp with dreams of becoming a rapper. His outstanding performance not only earned him critical acclaim, but also garnered a long list of awards, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. From that point on, Terrence Howard's career skyrocketed. He became a sought-after actor, known for his ability to bring depth and authenticity to every role he took on. Whether it was his portrayal of the charismatic James Rhodes in the Iron Man franchise, or his voice work as the charming frog prince in The Princess and the Frog, Howard's talent knew no bounds. But it was his role as Lucius Lyon in the hit TV series Empire that truly solidified his status as a household name. In the show, Howard played a music mogul battling personal demons while trying to maintain control of his empire. His portrayal of Lucius Lyon was captivating, earning him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Terrence Howard's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. His performances were often described as mesmerizing, with a rawness and vulnerability that drew viewers in. Throughout his career, Howard worked with some of the industry's most talented directors and actors, leaving a lasting impression with each collaboration. His dedication to his craft and his unwavering commitment to delivering powerful performances 
set him apart from his peers. From his breakthrough role in Hustle and Flow to his memorable performances in Iron Man, The Princess and the Frog, and Empire, Terrence Howard built an impressive career that spanned decades. He became a respected figure in the industry, admired for his talent and versatility. Terrence Howard's life journey unfolds like a gripping drama, filled with a plethora of relationships, academic pursuits, and unexpected turns. Nestled in the serene enclave of Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania, just on the outskirts of bustling Philadelphia, Howard's personal saga is one that captures the essence of human complexity. Marriage has been a recurring motif in Howard's narrative, punctuating his life with both joy and heartache. His matrimonial journey commenced in 1993 with Lori McComas, marking the beginning of a union that would see the birth of three children. Yet the road to marital bliss was marred by tumult, as the couple faced the harsh reality of divorce in 2001. However, fate had other plans, as they reconciled in 2005, briefly rekindling their love before parting ways once again in 2007. Undeterred by the trials of his first marriage, Howard ventured into the realm of matrimony once more, exchanging vows with Michelle Gent in 2010. Alas, their union proved to be ephemeral, with Ghent filing for divorce a mere year later. The dissolution of their marriage was fraught with contention, as allegations of abuse cast a shadow over their separation, culminating in a protracted legal battle that finally concluded in 2013. But amidst the wreckage of failed relationships, a beacon of hope emerged in the form of Mira Pack, whom Howard married in late 2013. Their union heralded the arrival of two sons, Kieran Love and Hero, a testament to the enduring nature of love's resilience. However, the ebb and flow of marital bliss once again took its toll, leading to their separation in 2015. Yet, in a surprising twist of fate, the couple announced their engagement to remarry in December 2018, a testament to the cyclical nature of love's journey. Beyond matters of the heart, Howard's educational endeavors have also captured public interest. Despite not completing his degree in chemical engineering, he proudly identifies as an engineer at heart harboring aspirations to one day return to academia and complete the three credits standing between him and his coveted diploma. His educational trajectory, however, remains shrouded in ambiguity, with conflicting accounts regarding his attendance at Pratt Institute and a curious claim of earning a PhD from South Carolina State University, later revealed to be an honorary degree. In addition to his personal and academic pursuits, Howard's impact extends into the realm of fraternity, as he was bestowed the honor of being inducted as an honorary member of the esteemed Phi Beta Sigma fraternity in 2010, a testament to his influence beyond the silver screen. Terrence Howard's life story is a tapestry woven with threads of love, ambition, and resilience, each chapter serving as a testament to the complexities of the human experience. From the highs of marriage to the lows of divorce, from the pursuit of knowledge to the embrace of honorary recognition, Howard's journey stands as a reminder that true fulfillment lies not in the destination, but in the myriad of experiences that shape our lives along the way. Terrence Howard has initiated legal action against Creative Artists Agency, LLC, alleging that the talent agency misled him into accepting a lower payment for his role on the popular television series, Empire. The lawsuit, filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court, asserts that despite Howard's trust in CAA, he later discovered that the agency prioritized its own financial interests and those of the production companies it represented over his own. Howard contends that while he was aware of CAA's involvement in packaging the project and receiving a fee, he was unaware of the conflicts of interest arising from the agency's dual role in representing both actors and production entities. Attorney James Bryant of the Cochrane Law Firm, speaking on behalf of Howard, stated that the lawsuit is based on the repeated failure of Howard's agents to fulfill their duties. Bryant emphasized Howard's pivotal role in the success of Empire and highlighted the substantial revenue generated by the show, contrasting it with Howard's allegedly inadequate compensation. The lawsuit alleges that while producers aimed to minimize production costs, CAA persuaded Howard to accept what they deemed to be a fair salary for his acting contributions to the show. Howard expressed his disappointment, stating that he trusted CAA to advocate for his interests but feels they prioritized their own. Howard, aged 54, is seeking unspecified compensatory and punitive damages. The lawsuit does not currently specify a damages amount, with the Cochrane Law Firm indicating that it will be determined later. Despite attempts to reach out for comment, CAA has not responded. The lawsuit highlights the success of Empire, noting its high viewership and critical acclaim upon debut. 
Howard, known for his roles in films such as Crash and Hustle and Flow, seeks redress for what he perceives as unfair treatment in his compensation for his work on the show. Terrence Howard played a crucial role in the early success of the Iron Man franchise, although not in the way one might expect. While he appeared in the first movie, his character, Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes, was portrayed by Don Cheadle in the sequel, Iron Man 2. This sudden change prompted Howard to revisit the events surrounding his departure from the franchise and raise new concerns, including implicating Robert Downey Jr. in the process. In November 2008, shortly after the release of Iron Man, reports emerged suggesting that Howard, as the first actor to sign on, received a substantial salary but exhibited challenging behavior on set, leading to dissatisfaction from the director. When negotiations for the sequel commenced, Howard was offered a significantly reduced salary, allegedly without prior discussion about his performance issues. Robert Downey Jr. distanced himself from the decision, expressing affection for Howard but offering little clarity on the matter. Howard, on the other hand, publicly downplayed any controversy, indicating a positive split and expressing support for Downey Jr.'s success in the role. By March 2013, Howard began to openly discuss the financial aspect of his departure, revealing that he was blindsided by the reduced offer for Iron Man 2, despite having a contractual agreement for multiple films. In the present day, while promoting another project, Howard candidly addressed a fan question about his absence from subsequent Iron Man films, suggesting that Downey Jr. played a role in his exclusion by allegedly manipulating the financial negotiations. Howard's statement implies a strained relationship with Downey Jr., contrasting with earlier expressions of admiration. These revelations shed light on the complex dynamics behind Howard's departure from the franchise and hint at underlying tensions between him and Downey Jr., marking a significant departure from previous diplomatic statements. But there are allegations about what many people call dark sides to Howard that he has been trying to debunk. We're divorced now, and she should stay that way. And I just wish the best for her, but as far as me harming somebody, anybody that knows me, I, I really can't harm a fly. Abuse and harassment. In 2013, Terrence Howard's personal life took a dark turn when his ex-wife, Michelle Gent, came forward with shocking allegations of abuse. The details of the incidents that unfolded during their tumultuous relationship are deeply disturbing and have left many questioning the true nature of the actor. According to court documents, Michelle Gent accused Terrence Howard of violently assaulting her during a trip to Costa Rica. She claimed that he punched her in the face, strangled her, and even threatened to kill her. The alleged incidents occurred in August 2013, and the aftermath would forever change the lives of both individuals involved. During the trial, Michelle Gent provided a harrowing account of the abuse she endured at the hands of Terrence Howard. She described the moments of terror and helplessness, recounting the physical and emotional pain she experienced. The court listened as she detailed the specific incidents, painting a vivid picture of a relationship marred by violence. To support her claims, Michelle Gent presented photographs of her injuries as evidence. The images showed bruising and swelling on her face, consistent with the alleged assault. These visual representations of the abuse served as a stark reminder of the pain she endured. In addition to the legal arguments and evidentiary presentations, witness testimonies emerged as pivotal components in shaping the narrative of the trial. Individuals who were present during the fateful Costa Rica trip came forward to offer their first-hand perspectives on the events that transpired. Their accounts aligned closely with Michelle Gent's recollections, serving to corroborate her version of the story and lending substantial credence to the gravity of the allegations levied against Terrence Howard. By providing corroborative testimonies, these witnesses bolstered the prosecution's case, underscoring the seriousness of the situation and further substantiating the claims of abuse. Amidst the legal proceedings, Terrence Howard steadfastly maintained his innocence, vehemently refuting the accusations leveled against him. He consistently asserted that the allegations were fabricated and orchestrated as part of a broader agenda aimed at besmirching his character and reputation. Despite his unwavering protestations of innocence, the mounting body of evidence presented in court painted a contrasting picture, one that was difficult to reconcile with his staunch denials. As the trial unfolded, the weight of the evidence against Howard began to accumulate, challenging the credibility of his assertions and casting doubt upon the veracity of his claims. After careful consideration of all the testimonies and evidence, the jury reached a verdict. They found Terrence Howard guilty of assault and battery charges, holding him accountable for the abuse inflicted upon Michelle Gent. 
The court recognized the severity of the allegations and deemed that there was sufficient evidence to support her claims. The culmination of the legal proceedings saw Terrence Howard being mandated to compensate Michelle Ghent for damages incurred. Alongside this financial repercussion, the court imposed a restraining order, effectively barring Howard from any form of contact with Ghent. This judicial intervention not only signifies accountability, but also serves as a semblance of justice for Ghent, offering a degree of closure and validation for the anguish she endured. In the wake of the abuse allegations becoming public knowledge, Terence Howard found himself confronted with a wave of condemnation from both within the entertainment sphere and the broader public arena. The severity of the accusations led many to grapple with the ethical dilemma of continuing to support an individual who stood accused of such reprehensible deeds. Consequently, Howard's once gleaming reputation became marred by the allegations, casting a somber pall over his professional trajectory and public perception alike. In the immediate aftermath of the allegations, Terence Howard's professional opportunities began to dwindle. The entertainment industry, known for its zero-tolerance policy towards abuse, distanced itself from the actor. Casting directors and producers were hesitant to associate their projects with someone facing such serious allegations. As a result, Terence Howard found it increasingly difficult to secure new roles and maintain his standing in the industry. Despite the allegations leveled against him, it's imperative to acknowledge that Terence Howard did not lose the support of everyone. Remarkably, amidst the tumult, he retained a steadfast fan base that refused to abandon him. For some, faith in his innocence persisted, advocating for the presumption of innocence until proven otherwise. This divergence of opinion among fans only served to deepen the controversy enveloping the actor, underscoring the complexities inherent in navigating such contentious allegations. Moreover, beyond the court of public opinion, Terence Howard found himself under the critical gaze of his peers within the entertainment fraternity. Certain fellow actors and industry insiders didn't shy away from publicly denouncing his alleged misdeeds, expressing their disillusionment and dismay. Such vocal disapproval only exacerbated Howard's sense of isolation and compounded the challenges he faced in reconstructing his tarnished image. As the legal proceedings unfolded, the media seized upon the case with veracity, delivering exhaustive coverage of the accusations and subsequent trial. Tabloids and news outlets voraciously dissected every facet of the saga, engendering a sensationalized narrative that further entrenched the negative perceptions surrounding Terence Howard. The relentless scrutiny from the press served only to heighten the pressure on the actor, amplifying the weight of public suspicion and exacerbating the perceived gravity of his culpability. Despite the challenges he faced, Terence Howard attempted to salvage his career and repair his public image. He issued public statements denying the allegations and expressing his remorse for the situation. However, these efforts were met with mixed reactions, as many remained skeptical of his claims of innocence. Over time, as the initial shock of the allegations subsided, Terence Howard gradually began to regain some footing in the industry. He sought out smaller projects and independent films, hoping to rebuild his reputation through his work. While these opportunities were not as high profile as his previous roles, they allowed him to showcase his talent and dedication to his craft. Terence Howard is not the only actor to face allegations of domestic violence. In fact, there have been numerous high profile cases involving celebrities who have been accused of such heinous acts. One such case involves Charlie Sheen, star of the hit TV show Two and a Half Men. Sheen has faced multiple charges of domestic abuse throughout his career. In 1996, he pleaded guilty to domestic abuse charges and in 2009, he faced similar charges again. These incidents have tarnished his reputation and raised questions about his character. Mel Gibson, renowned for his iconic roles in cinematic classics such as Braveheart and Lethal Weapon, has found himself embroiled in controversy stemming from accusations of domestic violence. In a significant turn of events in 2010, Gibson entered a plea of no contest to a battery charge related to an altercation with his then-wife, Oksana Grigorieva. This incident, compounded by his widely condemned anti-Semitic outburst during a drunken driving arrest in 2006, has left an indelible stain on his once illustrious career, overshadowing his artistic achievements with a cloud of scandal and public condemnation. Similarly, the esteemed actor Sean Penn, recognized for his formidable talent with multiple Academy Awards to his name, 
has a troubling history marred by instances of violence towards women. Penn's tumultuous past includes an arrest for domestic assault involving his former spouse, the pop icon Madonna, as well as serving a 33-day prison sentence for an altercation with a photographer. These distressing episodes have raised serious questions about Penn's conduct and its ramifications on both his personal life and professional standing within the industry. On a different note, Emma Roberts, celebrated for her versatile performances in popular television series like Scream Queens and American Horror Story, has found herself entangled in allegations of domestic violence. Her highly publicized arrest following an altercation with her then-boyfriend, Evan Peters, served as a stark reminder that instances of domestic violence can transpire within any relationship, irrespective of gender dynamics. This incident brought to light the pervasive nature of domestic abuse, challenging preconceived notions, and underscoring the importance of raising awareness and fostering dialogue surrounding this critical societal issue. These cases involving actors accused of domestic violence highlight the disturbing reality that even those in the public eye are not immune to such behavior. It serves as a reminder that fame and success do not excuse or justify abusive actions. The consequences of domestic violence are far-reaching and can have a lasting impact on both the victims and the perpetrators. Thanks for watching. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.